Hey, it's Tuesday. Do you need these? These are not just glasses. They are readers. You uh, put them on your face when you want to see something close up. And we look at things close up because of presbyopia. <laughs> I love it. You may not be a Presbyterian, but you might have presbyopia, which means you have elder eyes, older eyes, and uh, something about those lenses getting harder and you have to hold things away. I think when you get past the age of 45, you can stop using candles on a birthday cake and you can count your age by the number of these all around your home. Readers. Here's the point I'm getting at. I'm Andy Ross. I'm one of the pastors at Northminster Presbyterian, Presbyterian Church in Tucson, Arizona. And uh, yeah, I need readers. But when you use reader glasses, you're looking down and you're looking close up. Pause this morning. How much of your life is spent looking down? At a book, at a puzzle, at your phone? And how would your life change if you used more and more godders instead of readers? What if we built into our life a practice of looking up and looking, thinking about meditating on the grandeur of God over us, around us, in the glory of his creation, a God who is timeless, a God who is there for us. Let me uh, read from Psalm 123 and use these. I lift my eyes up to you, to you who sit enthroned in heaven. As the eyes of slaves look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a female slave look to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he shows us mercy. I have a theory that if you're always looking down, your spirit will start going down. How can you today make a practice of looking up in the sky, looking at the amazing clouds of our Sonoran Desert, looking to the mountains, reflecting in prayer how God is so much bigger than us. And it's in God's majestic presence we see that we will be okay. Hope, glory, in his grace given to us. So today, several times today, I want you to put on your godders, not readers. Look up and give glory to the living God.